So Amy is too excited to film right now. Look at her. We are in my dream food destination. We are in Shunda. It's a place with many names. The cradle of Cantonese food, the land of fish and rice, even the hometown of chefs. One thing's for sure, here in Shunda, it's all about the food. I've been wanting to come here for a really, really long time, ever since I tried Shunda food in Australia with my parents. It's really good. We went nuts over everything because Shunda here is such a city of food, but not only food. This is a city of foodies. People here know and love good food and you can always expect a good feed. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about this. I've made Jasmine come along with me because Jasmine, you need to experience some of this food today. <gasps> I was thinking, there's so many amazing food here in Shunda. What if I choose something that I really want to eat and we go and eat it, mm -hmm. and then you choose something that you really want to eat and then we'll go and eat it? That's a good idea. I feel very strongly that the first thing I want to put in my mouth here in Shunda is roast goose. Shala. Thank you, Amy. You said exactly what I'm going to say. That's why we're friends, Jasmine. This roast goose made a huge impression on my parents and I, especially my dad. Oh my goodness. That's really good. That's really good. It's really good. Oh, I really like it. It is a, one of our favorite things because it's just easy and you go to the restaurant and it's so juicy and really really good. You know goose is friend of duck so I'm from Nanjing. The I'm duck definitely a fan of goose as well. So with that being said let's go find our goose. Okay so here we are a bit of a secret spot. I got this recommendation from Steph and Chris from Chinese Cooking Demystified. They live here in Shunda so they have recommended me all the best places. So this is where we're going to be going for our roast goose Oh my god, get in me. Shao <laughs> Er Zai Fan Dian. Very local vibe, very full. It's a weekday at 12 30 pm, packed. I feel like the locals know where to go and I feel like they're coming here. Here is our menu. Of course, we're going to be getting ourselves. Shao Er. We also have lots of other Shunda specialties here. But as always, when confronted with such a long list of delicious foods, it's sometimes hard to make a decision. Luckily, I have a solution. When in doubt, always look at the top recommended dishes. So number one, Shao Number two is this, what's that? Let's do it. Let's get that. Every friend of mine is recommending the city with their lives. Yes. Saying that the most impossible thing here is to lose weight. That statement really hit home when we saw our so-called small portion of congee arrive. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> I didn't think it would be so big. This is enough for like 10 people. And it's the smallest size. This is the small size? Are you the kidding smallest. me? Smallest. They have four different sizes and this is the smallest one. You can see the pepper on top. It's got a very peppery smell there. And then, wow. But I really wanted to wait for the goose to arrive before getting stuck into this clam and taro congee. I keep looking over at the kitchen here. Like, when is my goose coming? Where is my goose? Oh, there's something coming here. Is that us? No. It's a fish. But it looks really good. We wait. <laughs> Amy is literally counting in seconds. This one, this oh, one, this, this is one. It. It's gotta be it. It's gotta be ours. No. No. I guess that this restaurant is like super famous for roast goose, so there's a lot of demand. So they need to like. Are they catching the goose right now? Yeah, I think they must be going and hunting it. Get off the feather. Yep. Funnily enough, on my way to the bathroom, I stumbled across the roast goose production line. Here, the chef blows into the neck of the goose. And the reason for this, I believe, is to separate the skin from the fatty bit that's right underneath it. This allows the skin to roast up crispier. If they don't do this step, the fat will render and make the skin softer and greasier. Once the geese are puffed up, they're brought over to the roasting area. Oh. 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 Oh.
This one. It's ours. It's got to be it. It's, she's got two plates here, Jasmine. One of them is belonging to us. <gasps> yes. This year. Oh my god. It's here. It's finally here. I've been waiting a long time to have the most authentic Shunda roast goose. Look at how crispy that skin looks and how tender that flesh there looks. I can't say anything with you right now, Amy. Sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> I wish we could record the smell. I wish that too. A smell of vision. Oh, look at it. My Let's stomach is yelling. The moment I've been waiting for. This is a momentous occasion, Jasmine, because only once in your entire life can you have authentic Shunda roast goose for the first time. And this is our first time. Are you ready? I'm so, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I've been waiting for this moment. Okay. Hey, oh, cheers. Yeah. cheers. Enjoy. Oh. It's really good. The skin is so crispy and so flavorful. And the meat is very tender. Oh yeah. And juicy. So juicy. There's no possibility you look at this and don't draw. In Australia they had like a, a sweet and sour dipping sauce. But here they just serve it as is, no dipping sauce. Now time to try put a dent in this so-called small portion of taro and clam congee. Let's try some of their famous sorry, congee with taro, shellfish, and greens. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It tastes better than it looks. <laughs> My first bite, I loved it because I really like peppery things. It's got a, a pepperiness to it. There's so much pepper on top of it. And then all of these, um greens have a crunch to it so when you're eating it there's a little bit of softness from the shellfish there's the crunch from the greens there's the saltiness and umami from the seafood it's yeah it's it's a whirlwind of yeah. textures and flavors i really I've like it i've got a taro here i'm the lucky person i guess mm. so um it's very soft it just smells in your mouth let me let me get you i wonder why don't Nanjing people like goose? <laughs> Nanjing people don't like goose? They do, but not like that much to ducks. Well, yeah, of course. Nanjing is the duck city. It would be like... Why Nanjing is not a goose city? Well, it's already a duck city. It can't be both the goose city and the duck city, can it? Why? You can only have one. Why is it just the goose city at the first place? Give Shunda the goose city. Make Shun no. Shunda can be the goose city. <laughs> you can't have everything, Jasmine. I want everything. This is the head. Oh. Of the goose. Yeah, go for it, Jasmine. It's all yours. What's on the other side? Do you want to see the layer? Yeah, I want to see the brain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you see so brain. The white part is the brain. And then eyeball. Oh. Then eyeball here. First up, goose brain. Mm. How does goose brain taste? It's actually the best brain I've ever had. What? Well, the pork brain is also good with the hot pot, but this one is so umami. You've had a lot of brain in your life, so that's yes. a real compliment. Yes. That brain's a hard act to follow. Let's see what Jasmine thinks of the goose eyeball. I'm not having the very center of eyeball itself because it's full of um, you know, metal uh, elements. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not that good. Yeah, it's not that healthy. Also, this you don't eat. Yeah, I don't eat that because this, um, this is not healthy for your oh. body. I'm only eating the surrounded area of the eyeball. Okay. Mm. Good eyeball. And you can taste the sweetness of the eyeball. I don't know why. Because oh. I didn't taste much sweetness in the meat but you can taste it in the eyeball. So yeah, I think all the flavors are exaggerated um, within the head. The head has the best skin of the whole body. Because can I it try? Has, sure. It has no fat, only the skin. Yeah, check out how gorgeous and translucent that is there. I can see your face through it, Jasmine. Almost. <laughs> My face is so small. <laughs> Oh, it is really good skin. It's just like flavor and crispiness. But all things said and done, I like me those fatty pieces best. I know it's super bad for you, but this is my favorite part, the fat and the skin. So dad, I know how jealous you're gonna be when you're watching this video. So this, this piece of goose, I dedicate to you. Just now, I left my body 
and I went to heaven. It's called 好吃到灵魂出窍 I will never be the same. To anybody who hasn't had a goose, do yourself a favor. Go out and have、um, a roast goose. Well, that was an amazing meal. So there we go. Stop one done for the day. Roast goose, huge success. Now it's time for Jasmine's choice. Well, I am. A fan of dairy products, so I'm hoping that you bring your tablet today. I'm really keen to try the champignon here. Amazing! Shunda here is super famous for dairy products, and that's thanks to the water buffalo, which was previously used for farming in this region. Over the years, the milk from the buffalo was integrated into the cuisine in unique and inventive ways. For example, stir-fried milk, or what we're about to try, champignon, double skin milk. I actually tried it once before in Australia. Like a creme brulee without the, the sugar on top. It is. Very, I love that. It's like yeah, a creme brulee. It's like a creme brulee. But today we get to try the most authentic version. So we must be in an area known for this milk because all of these shops along this stretch of road all are specialising in local milk products. You see here, Shuang Pi Nai. Another famous specialty here is Jiang Zhuang Nai, which is like a Shuang Pi Nai but with ginger added. All along this street are signs for various local dairy specialties. This street is like a lactose intolerant person's nightmare. Milk absolutely everywhere. Good thing I brought my lactose tablets. This is the famous Shuenyo of Shunda. Yeah, this is where the milk comes from. Originally used for farming, now used for Shuang Pi Nai. <laughs> Poor thing. So we have arrived at the one milk shop to rule them all. This is the one that we've been recommended to come to. It also looks like the most popular one. The most people here eating. The most people inside. Look, there's a line at this one. The other ones are all empty. So we've got shui niu nai. We can just get like a cup of milk from that cow. Shuang pi nai, which is definitely what we're gonna get. Shuang pi nai in the bowl and in bottle. 一个冰的那个双皮奶，一个热的姜状奶，然后再来一个水牛乳。Oh, here we go. So this is like the original material for this too. Yeah, and this is um. The iced shuang pi nai, and this is the warm jiang zhuang nai. Oh yeah, look at that! Look at it wobble. Such a vibe here. Yeah, like the street is lovely. No fun now in this valley. I am just loving this here. Well, let's go for this one first. It is our shuang pi nai, which literally translates to double layer milk, double skin milk. I've had it once before, but I had it with Australian cow milk, and I was told that the milk that they use here, shui niu nai. Is a lot different. The flavor is completely different, so I, I wasn't able to have the full experience in Australia because it isn't going to taste the same. So I've heard this has a more milky flavor, more. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 Kind of like a little bit like cheese. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Ready?、Mm. Wow. It's different than any of other champagne I've had. I can definitely tell what does it mean by it tastes more milky、yeah. of Shenyu Nai. It tastes really more milky. Yeah, it might be hard to imagine. Yeah, it's good. You've got like a harder layer on top there,、yeah. and then a softer layer on the bottom. So if you get a spoonful, that has like kind of two of the layers. Okay,、so、yeah.、Well. These double layers definitely weren't as obvious in the Australian version I had, which reminded me more of like a milky pudding. So now I'm keen to try this one, which is basically a shuang pi nai but with ginger added. Right? Is that what it is? Oh, you're quite long, ah, not so long. Ah, 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 you're quite long. And it's also warm. This one we got a, a warm one. Oh, so it's on top. It does have a like a harder layer, and then underneath, kind of like doupa. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is spicy. It gives me that zing in my throat. I can smell from your mouth. <laughs> <sighs> it feels nice on my throat. I feel like I'd like to eat this if I have a cold.、Um, it's a lot more gingery than I thought it was going to be. Now, time for some pure water buffalo milk, and we're going to just pour it into our bowl here. How will it compare to cow's milk? So that we can share. More please. <laughs> well, how about you have this and I'll have that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's like it's quite sweet. You've had a real gulp. I had like the smallest sip, and you were just like drank like your life depended on it. It's so special. But before Jasmine could tell me more about her thoughts on the milk, we were thrown out. She kept saying we were taking up too much space, which was confusing because there were always other seats available. But you know what? Oh well, there's a first time for everything, and today I got kicked out of a restaurant.
so we had uh, a couple of sips of this milk and we were literally kicked out. They didn't want us filming anymore. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about this milk in the alleyway, but it's a very lovely alleyway and I'm really loving this vibe here. So, and the milk is lovely as well. Tell me about the milk. How's the milk? So, Yeah,所以一般的牛奶就是你第一口都能喝到一些腥味儿。所以有些小朋友或者什么的会不喜欢喝牛奶,特别热牛奶。这个的话,第一口的味道非常淡,然后只有你细品的时候才会有一点非常